Okay. Let's look at this one. If y is a negative number such that 2 power y square log 5 to the base 3 equal to 5 power log 3 to the base 2. Right? So, very often in these kind of log questions where an exponent is there and log is there, a simple trick in the book is take log on both sides. That might simplify something. And so I'm going to try to do that. Take log on both sides and we'll try to do this. So this becomes y square log 5 to the base 3 times log 2 is equal to log 3 to the base 2 times log 5. This is 5 power log 3 to the base 2. So this will be log 3 to the base 2 times log 5. Log 5 to the base 3 here and a log 5 here. So we can choose the base to be 3. In our hands, we can choose any base. If we do that, then this log 5 to the base 3, this log 5 to the base 3, these two get cancelled. So we have y square here equal to log 3 to the base 2 by log 2 to the base 3. Log 2 to the base 3 is 1 by log 3 to the base 2. So this is nothing but y square equals log 3 to the base 2 whole square or y should be log 3 to the base 2 but the problem here is we know y is negative it has been given very clearly that y is negative so y is not log 3 to the base 2 it is log 3 to the base 2 times minus 1 minus of log 3 to the base 2 log 3 to the base 2 and minus of log 3 to the base 2 is nothing but log 1 by 3 to the base 2 2 power something is 3 2 power minus of something minus of the same thing will be 1 by 3 so minus log 3 to the base 2 is nothing but log 1 by 3 to the base 2 we're looking for a choice that says that it's just this beautiful question nice wonderful challenging question what you're looking for here when you're combining exponents and log the first step of unlocking that is take log on both sides that's a beautiful trick so keep that in mind. The moment you take log on both sides and you're plugging that in, now the second trick is there's a there's a log 5 to the base 3 here. We can choose any base. Choose the base to be 3. That means you put a base 3 here and a base 3 here. These two get, get cancelled, knocked off. After this, log 3 to the base 2 and log 2 to the base 3 are just reciprocals of each other. Final thing, when you come here, you have to keep in mind that the question clearly states that y is a negative number. That's something to keep in mind. So the answer is log 1 by 3 to the base 2.